Hey, what's going on? This is Reggie with Project Generation D. Um, I got an email this morning about um, asking if I do a video on some filtering, like sample filtering, drums, stuff like that. So I'm gonna do one for you. Uh, I have a beat pulled up. So I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna show you the element of the beat right now without any filtering on it. So that's um, a sample that I actually chopped up. So um, I have that going here, and this is the actual audio right here, as you can see. Now on this track down here to the left, I have my auto filter on there, and you just go to audio effects and auto filter. I just dragged in the um, the default auto filter, but there's a lot of different cool ones, and then of course you can always create your own presets as well. So what I do, me personally. Um, and it just kind of depends on the style and what you're going for. There's a couple of key elements of this auto filter that you can get some cool effects out of. So first we're going to start with the frequency and the resonance. And this, the resonance is the cue right here. So what I do, I have, um, you know, you can use any type of controller that has knobs and whatnot. And I custom map the, the cue and the frequency to a knob. So when I turn it, for this particular one, it's cutting out all the highs and it's leaving the lows and then it's also increasing the, the resonance. Now what I like to do as well is down here in my LFOs I like to change my rate to whatever I'm going for so if I'm going for like say eighth notes or sixteenth notes whatever whatever I'm trying to go for as far as sound goes then I'll increase the amount but not a ton and I'll show you what this sounds like when you do that. Increase the amount, just add more that wah wah. You can change the rate, something slower, faster, and then you can bring it back down. Now, of course, you know, down here you can do a high pass, a low pass, and, and all different types of, of filters depending on what element of the beat that you're working with or whatnot. So basically, those are the four key elements for filtering it. So, and you can do this with an EQ, like you can t drag an EQ in here and, you know, for instance, just cut out all the highs or cut out all the lows and then add like a flange or like a wah effect on there or something like that to get the same effect. But basically, what I'll do and what i use this for is if I have a sample like I just played. If that goes over and over and over throughout the whole song, it kind of gets repetitive. So what I'll do is I'll filter it. So I'll kind of show you how the filter works within this particular beat. So when the beat starts, you know, this could be like the chorus part and then I go into the hook. I mean to into the verse part, excuse me. Right now there's no filtering going on. So basically, as you can see, what the filtering can do in, in this particular with this particular sample, you can cut out those high ends with the sense that they're in the high end, and then I added like my own synthesizers on top of that, and you got your own instruments and stuff. So it kind of just gives the beat, you know, more room to breathe as well as like once you add vocals on there as well, and you don't have to, it doesn't have to sound so repetitive if you have like a good sample chop, it's like eight bars or, or four bars or whatever, you know, and you want to add some variety to it. And, you know, this can work the opposite way as well. You can um, you know, cut out. You can cut out your lows, so you can play that. You go to opposite end. Or just boost the particular frequency. Or cut a particular frequency.
So you see, this works a lot of different ways. That's just a little tutorial on, um, you know, how to use the auto filter to get some cool effects, whether it's filtering out the highs or the lows or adding like that wah-wah effect, using the LFOs and, you know, just change your rates and your amounts and stuff like that. Um, and you can use this for pretty much anything, vocals, drums, samples, just to get a whole bunch of cool different effects. Um, so y'all stay tuned, projectgenerationd.com for more tutorials.